G'day everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to Geometry Dash. Today we are doing another building episode, so that's going to be pretty sweet. We're going to build some stuff and you guys can learn some, I don't know, maybe learn some random stuff, maybe, I don't know. Today we're jumping right back into the level editor and, you know, building really. What, what the hell else do you do in the level editor? But yeah, you may be wondering, what kind of style are we doing today? Actually, you're not really wondering because that's why you clicked on the video, you know what stuff- what, what? I just keep getting sidetracked in these intros, it's kind of stupid. But yeah, today we're going to be building another Robtop starred level, specifically the style from Knock'em in Sub-Zero. This has been requested quite a bit by my viewers and I thought I'd finally do it. I like the style a lot myself and I think it's pretty cool. Also, the block design- another reason is the block design is actually a little more complex than your normal Robtop design, so um, it does need a bit of explaining, and I'm going to try figure it out myself, so you guys can give it a go, and yeah, I, I'd like to see some levels with this style too. Anyway, I'm going to stop wasting time around here, and we're just going to jump into the tutorial really, so let's get going. Woo! So here, I've already prepared the gameplay, as you can see. We've look at this, we've got this pretty beautiful, mmm, look at all those blocks. So I'm going to start talking about the structures here. So when you're preparing a gameplay, you want to make this kind of structure. So the side blocks here, I've made them invisible for now, and we've only got the top blocks of what we're going to do. So basically, we've got the hitboxes, that's what you want to keep in mind when doing the block structures. So for the top part, the part that you jump on, you want to use these blocks here. So these ones instead of these ones. So these ones, you put them down, and then you also edit object and turn off glow, because that's what Robtop does in the level, so you want to put that down. That's your first step, to place down your gameplay using these blocks on top. But also, remember to keep these ones here just for gameplay purposes, so you can't skip through them. You know, so you can't fall through the blocks. You, yeah, you get the picture. So the next thing we're going to do with the gameplay is actually add even more side blocks. So you're going to add your own custom side block, just the thin ones this time, and you're going to give it a new color. We're just going to say 10, and you're just going to make it black. So just make it a black one, turn off the glow like before, and do this. And basically you can just place that around, you know, just the level really. I'm just going to place it on group zero. And yeah, you want to place it on all the side blocks, so go ahead and do that. Alright, we've done that now. That's pretty cool. We've done the side blocks which are black and the top which is white. Another thing you want to do before you get started with your gameplay is you want to get the spikes. So just select all your spikes. Come on, get in there, get in there. There we go. Oh, that, that was kind of a difficult one to select, eh? So now you've got all your spikes selected, you want to make them the object color. So basically, add a new color. I'm going to go with 9 because I always go with 9 for object. Copy color plus and then object and then you're done. Actually, what you've got to go detail and also do that too. So now they will copy the color of the object as the name implies, yeah. So now, colors. We're just going to get onto our colors. We're going to choose a background first, actually. We're going to go with this one because it's the one from Knock'em. And for the ground, we're going to go for this one here. And yeah, that's going to be it for the background choosing. We're going to choose our colors now. We're going to start off with the purple. Purple is cool. I mean, who doesn't like purple, to be honest? <laughs> make it kind of dark. Don't make it too light. And for the ground, I like to put show ground on so I can see. So for the ground one, we're going to make it copy the color of the background, but make it a little darker. And for number two, same thing, but we're just going to make it a little brighter. So there, there we go. So we've got the copy colors like that, and we should be good. So now the fun part, we're going to get into the block design. So we're going to make a new layer here. We're just going to do it so it doesn't interfere with any of the gameplay. We're going to turn off our ground, and we're going to get started. So the basic blocks you want here are these ones. You want this. You also want, where the hell did it go? Come on, show yourself, you little bastard. There it is, there it is, on a different page. So you want these blocks, and that's basically about it, really. So, I'm going to show you colors. So you want the detail to be your complementary color. And basically that means the object color, so I'm just going to do that. Copy the color of the object. The base should be a new color, so make yourself a new color, and let's just say, we're going to use copy color background again. We're going to copy the background, but this time we're going to make it quite dark. So as you can see, it's very dark like that. And we want to put, for these blocks, the same thing, quite dark, and we should be good. Now you can just place these around a bit. I'm not going to place them everywhere, because we can use a bit of copy-paste, but I'm going to place them all along this block here. So we're going to do that, and yeah, I'll be back when I've done that. So we've placed our little frame blocks here. Now, of course, we need more stuff, so I'm going to show you what to do next. So here is where it gets a little complicated. So we're going to make a new layer, because this is going to be a, a little more interesting here. We're going to get these standard glow blocks here, these are very useful. They're just a single color, like a single block color, and you can change them to what you like. We're, for this one, we're going to add a new color, color 3, and we're going to make it like this. We're going to make it purple and just blending, so nice and bright like, like so. And you also, this is very important, you want to layer it on B4, so it's behind everything else. Actually, we might go B3 because we might want to put more stuff beneath it, but hey, this will do for now. 
and basically we're going to place that on the top layer. On the second layer, we're going to place it again, go into HSV, and let, lower the brightness by 10. So like that. Actually, I think it could go a little darker, so we'll go 20, like so. There we go. So yeah, you can see that the hue has changed slightly, the darkness has changed a bit. And you want to do the same thing, except go down by 20 each time when you're going down like this, so minus 40. There you go. So now you can see it's kind of like a gradient block. And that's what you want to be doing for all the blocks. So this is a little tedious, but you know, it's cool. It, it works out in the end. So we can, we can use a bit of copy paste here to make our lives easier. And yeah, just keep doing that until you can't really go any darker. So like so, there we go. Now we will be using this layer later as well. We're going to need to do more stuff on it. A little bit more advanced stuff, but we'll get to it. And don't worry, just follow my steps and you'll be all good. So we're back onto this layer here where we've got these three blocks. We want to add a little more. So here we want to get this kind of glow block, place it on B4. Even more important, we've got to place it on B4 to be below the other blocks. And we're going to add a new color here. We're going to go five. And this time we want to make it yellow. So here we go, yellow kind of like a mellow yellow, you don't want it too close to the green, you want it kind of more closer to the orange, and we're going to lower the opacity like this, and there you go, we've got that there. So you've got to experiment a bit to see what it looks like, so maybe maybe a little brighter, and then you can just place that, you want to place it on all the sides of the blocks like this. So there we go, look at that. Now we've got that, a little bit of glow on the side, so that looks cool, like it's a nice little additive. So yeah, that's pretty nice. So for a little more detail on the box design, we also want to get these blocks here. Wherever they are, I have no idea, but we're going to find them. Oh, there they are. So you want to get these blocks here, and basically just place them on the side like this. Very simple and very easy, but it's pretty cool. So, you know, go do that. So we are nearly done with our block design. We have got a few more things to do, of course. Um, we, one thing we've got here is to add a glow on the top. We're going to make it just copy the color of the background like this and blending and then we're just going to run it along the top like that you want to do that on top of every block here and there we go we're actually going to change the layer of this one to number three so it's in line with these and there we go we're almost done i already said that before but hey <laughs> we're almost done yet again so a thing that rotop does quite a lot is blocks pulsing when you land on them and it can be quite complex so we're going to start with that we're going to do that here these two will pulse orange when you go past them and this one will have something a little more complicated so to get the hard part out of the way first, we're going to do that. We're going to go for this one. So basically how we're going to do this is see how we've got these three different layers. We're going to make number one, give it a new group. So one, obviously, because we haven't used any groups yet. Two and three. So there we go. We've got three groups in this one. Now, when you hit it, I want you to put a pulse here, not a glue, a pulse. <laughs> I meant to put the pulse. Don't worry. And now we're going to put one. This is very important, you want to pay good attention here. So we're going to go group and change the color to pink. And then we're going to add a little pulse. So do what you like. I'm going to put fade in like this, a little bit of fade. And yeah, that should actually pulse that like that. So there we go. And now you might see what's coming next. We're going to put number two there and number three there. And then to make them spaced a little closer together, we're going to rotate them. So when you hit that block, Cool. I've decided that I'm actually going to change the color of that pulse to orange or kind of like yellow orange really. So we're just going to go yellow, you know, cool. So there we go. That, that's a little better. Now these ones, we're going to do something a little different. It's going to be easy though, so don't worry. This time we're going to assign them the groups, but we're going to include the glows. So we're just going to go, that's going to be four and that's going to be for number five. Cool. And then we're just going to grab the triggers again, use a bit of copy paste. We're going to align them here and what was it for? And this time we're going to make it orange, kind of orangey yellow, but the whole thing is just going to pulse like that. So we're not going to do any of that fancy stuff. We're just going to do the whole thing and it's a bit easier and it's cool as well. So there you go. That's our block design done. So yeah, it's not too complicated. It's a little more complex than you might be used to, but of course with practice, stuff like this becomes pretty easy. And yeah, I'm happy with that. We're going to move on to some background pulses now. And I think what we're actually going to do is start right from the beginning. I mean, obviously, we want to grab the pulse here. We want to go background and we're actually going to go with like pink pulses, I think. Yeah, I think we're going to go with pink pulses. So like this. There we go. We, we don't want it to be that intense. It's a little, it's a little intense. Um, it, it should be good though. Um, we're also going to change the object color. So once you, when it pulses, we want the object to change to green I think yeah green should be good there we go so now you can see it looks a little more like the design and as you can see before we were smart and we made these spikes the object color so now they'll change to green too 
So there we go. So now we'll just place these symbol pulses around a bit and we're also just going to add a bit of a shake too. So we'll go with a bit of strength and a little bit of duration. So you can place those on there and just copy paste them around to your heart's content. Embrace the pace baby! Woo! And here we're going to do something a little different. We're actually going to change the color of the background to blue. So we're just going to go blue and make it a bit darker. So there we go. We've done our pulses, we've done our color pulses and block design and block structure. Of course there's still a lot more to do so we're going to keep going. That's pretty cool for now, I think we're, we're good. So I think we're gonna do ground spikes now. And this is relatively simple, a lot more simple than the block design, so you won't need to worry. We're gonna start out on a new layer, a fresh layer, and we're gonna be using these blocks today, and this one there, so we're just gonna basically just place them around. You wanna change the height of them a bit, as you can see, so this one's on the ground level, this one's on the middle level, this one will go back to the ground level, and you can just move it around as much as you like, really. Whatever fits with your gameplay that you've made, it's cool. Like, really, just do what you like. This one can move up one, actually, yeah. And then, I'm not going to put any on the roof for now, so sometimes I'd put spikes in there. Let me just turn off preview mode. Sometimes I'd do stuff like this, but no, we're not going to do that today because it doesn't really fit the theme. It should be good for now to just keep them on the ground, and yeah, that's pretty cool. Then you also want to fill in the gaps here where they've lifted off the ground, so like that. Now we've got all the gaps filled in. So now you've placed them down, we need a little more detail. So we're just going to grab their complementary blocks here, see these ones, these ones fit really nicely. So you want to just ch chuck them on top of here, and we're going to make a new colour. And we're going to make a new colour for them, so we'll go 12, which has not been used yet, and we're actually going to make it orange. So as you can see, orange like this. Might want to make them a little less intense orange, kind of like that. Not too yellow, not too orange, kind of in between, so yeah, like that. There's a little strange colour choices, but it is the style that Rodtop used, and I agree, it looks pretty good, so... You know, go ahead and trust me or something, you know, you can trust me, dude. And we're also going to chuck in a glow too, so basically a new colour, same as the colour there, but this time we're going to make it blending. So yeah, we got that there, as you can see, a little bit of glow. We're going to make it a little bit more yellow, to be a bit more inviting, you know. That probably didn't make much sense, but hey, last one. And that's supposed to be 13, there we go. So we've got our ground spikes, and we need a bit more detail. And that's simply going to come in the form of particles. So there's two types of particles, these two here. These ones are the more spread out ones, they have more and they're like, you know, it's a bit hard to explain. You'll understand when you see it. So we're going to be using the ones on the right, very important. You have to use the ones on the right for this kind of purpose. So don't get mixed up between the two. Use the ones on the right. <laughs> Just trust me, dude. Trust me. 13 and 12. So the two colors we just used and we're going to place them around a little bit like this. Just place them randomly. You know, just everywhere, every now and then, should be good. I'm gonna place one there, and that's it. Those are the ground spikes done. Okay, so now we've done most of the dirty work. We need a little more detail, of course. We wanna put a big layer of glow on the ground. So you wanna go on a new layer, so you don't interfere with any of the spikes or anything like that, and you're just gonna place down the big glow. So the big fat one here, the big juicy fat one. Mm. Oh my god, I'm so weird today. Okay, so you're just gonna make it the color of the background. We use this color quite a lot, if you haven't noticed, but hey, it's good color. I'm going to put the corner on it here, like that, and cool, there you go, there you have it. So another nice thing we can do to this level is, what Robtop likes to do is add these little sparkles here. So you add these little sparkles to the spikes, so every now and then you'll place a little one there, maybe one over there, and one there, just a few on every spike. Not too much of a big deal, but they look pretty cool, so we're going to be doing that. And yeah, it adds a nice little bit of extra detail. This one will actually go on the left there. Of course, another thing we cannot forget with a Robtop level. Robtop is like, Robtop's got like a secret boner for these things here. Oh my god, that was the worst analogy for it possible. So yeah, but anyway, we're just going to place a few of them around. We're going to place a smaller one here. You know, just place a few around. Go, Just go ham, really. Just place them wherever the hell you want. So we do need a few little added details too. We've just done a few more details, but we want to put some things like this. And a new colour, of course. And we're going to make it blue. So these little chains are cool. You don't want them to be that intense, you kind of want them to be like a bit darker blue and maybe a little lower opacity like that. And yeah, you can place those around on top of your little complementary blocks. So I don't really have many of them, but I can place one there. Other things we can do to blocks instead of these things here is getting these ones and we're just going to place them on the side and make them the same colour, so two. Yeah, that was it, two. A few of those can go around and you know you want to mix it up a bit, you don't want everything to be the same because variation is cool and you want your level to be cool, so yeah, you know, well, listen to my logic, I make a lot of sense, don't I? Also a thing that I like doing is to add little 
kind of like grass blocks around too. I know Rob Top doesn't do it that much, but I really like it. I think they really complement a level. So basically we are gonna do that. We're gonna add them a new color. I think we'll just go with blue like this. So we'll place a couple of them around, shouldn't be a problem. And once you've placed those little spikes around, we're done. Or well, apart from having to decorate all this, which I'm gonna do off camera, but you know, you've done it. You've got all the skills you need to make a Knock'em style drop top level. And believe me, they're a lot of fun to make, so go and do it if you haven't. Anyways, I'll show you guys the finished product now, and yeah, we will check it out together. So that was it, the finished product. I hope you liked it. I found it pretty fun to build this style, and I think more people should give it a go. It's not actually as hard as people see it as. Those blocks are a little complicated, but of course, with a little practice and just following my steps really, you can you can build them pretty easily and they look awesome too. So I highly recommend going and trying out this tutorial if you're a beginner creator, if you, or just even if you just want to have a bit of fun. It's a lot of fun and, you know, I recommend it. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed watching that. I really do like these building videos and I haven't made one in a while, so yeah, you guys seem to like them too. Anyways, I'll see you all later. See you in the next video. Until then, see you later.